With the Alhatham banner coming to an end, I want to talk a bit about my experience with him and how good of a unit he is and what he brings to the table. The pros and cons, if you will. First things first, Alhatham's role is a Denjo slash spread DPS. His damage is largely focused on his normal attacks that give Denjo infusion with his skill and after his burst. He scales off of elemental mastery and a bit of attack and his ascension stat is Denjo damage bonus. He also has a pretty cool mechanic with his chiseled light mirrors where he wants to have three of them up at the same time to really maximize his damage. But now let's get to the pros and cons of what I've experienced with him so far. So as far as the pros, number one, I would say he has a very well-rounded kit. There's really not much being wasted within his talent selection from his normal attacks to his skill to his burst. I'd say leveling his normals and his skill are priority but his burst isn't useless. With his kit being so well-rounded, this makes him pretty nice to play, knowing everything that you do as Lahatham is useful and actually does something of importance. Number two, I'd say he's very free to play friendly when it comes to weapon options. He can use three star weapons like Harbinger of Dawn, Dark Iron Sword, four stars like Iron Sting, the Black Cliff Long Sword, Alley Flash, Xyphos Moonlight, that weird umbrella looking sword. And when it comes to possibly spending, you have the options of the Black Sword, Haran, Mid Splitter, Jade Cutter, and then of course his own signature weapon. Number three, I would say he's easy to build. No need to go all the way looking for the perfect four star artifact set, although you could if you want to, but he'll perform just fine either way. He really likes EM, but a solid crit ratio is definitely wanted for sure. Nothing insane, but just decent will do. His ascension stat, once again, is Denjo damage bonus, which is nice since it's like a pretty much a free stat for your build. Number four, I'd say there are multiple ways to play him. This is kind of a minor one, but it offers a lot of fun and versatility when it comes to his playstyle. So what you can do is you can do his skill and that'll give him two mirrors. After that, you can do a charge attack that will give him one mirror, which results in three for max stacks. Or you can just do his burst and then you start with three mirrors to begin with. And then every four seconds, you'll lose a mirror, but you can compensate by doing a charge attack and doing his skill to kind of keep the mirrors up consistently. So you always have three. So every time you lose one, you can always do a skill or a charge attack to get one back. One other cool little thing you can do with Alhatham, when you hold your skill, you can either look up at the sky and do a plunging attack, or you can kind of look down at the ground and he'll do at the right angle. He'll do this little bounce where he'll actually do a plunging attack at ground level. Also, not to mention, when he does a plunging attack with using his skill, he'll actually get three mirrors right off the bat because he did a normal attack and his skill, which results in three mirrors. Number five, he synergizes fairly well with other units like Sing Cho, Yelan, Fashil, Beidou, really any off-fielder, but especially normal attack enablers like Sing Cho and Yelan. Whereas someone like Tainari can't work with them. <laughs> Oh. Which gives Alhatham a little bit of a push. And that opens up so many different teams. You can run Alhatham, Double Hydro, and Kuki for Hyper Bloom. So you're doing Hyper Bloom, the Double Hydro damage, and Alhatham spread damage. So you're doing so many instances of damage at once, you're just kind of going nuts. Or you can just do spread and just have Electro and Dendro, and then you can do it that way. But now, let's talk about the cons. Number one, long field time. Now this really isn't a big deal in his case, but it was noticeable for me. I would often find myself not spreading anymore with Alhatham because Oz or Shinobu's skill would run out or Lisa's burst would expire. Now this is kind of a skill issue on my part because you really only wanna be on Alhatham when he has three mirrors, maybe two, and then after that, you switch off of him anyways. Each mirror lasts four seconds, so that's like eight, give or take 10 seconds of field time. Not nearly as bad as someone like Sino, who stays on the field longer than it took Hu Tao to get her rerun. So to be fair, for all Hatham, it's actually very manageable. Number two, the mirror delay. So once again, not that big of a deal to be honest, but you're gonna be waiting for those mirrors for what feels like some time after you do your burst. You'll do your burst, and after the burst actually ends, you have to wait, I'd say two, maybe two and a half seconds, and then you actually get your mirrors. And you don't wanna do anything else beforehand because if you are not on Alhatham, you will not get your mirrors from your burst. However, there is a nice little trick that I do. If I do Alhatham's burst, I'll actually switch to Fischl and I'll cast Oz, or let's say I switch to Shinobu and cast her skill really, really quick right after Alhatham's burst, then I'll switch back into Alhatham, and that way no time is wasted. And I get to do a little bit more spread since the Electro character skill is up for longer, and I just got my mirrors on Alhatham. So once again, kind of a skill issue, kind of like a learning curve to his kit, but once I found that out, it became a lot better. So as you can see, I'm kind of nitpicking when it comes to cons, so there's really not too many bad things about Alhatham that I found out throughout my experience, but 
Basically, Alhaven is a very solid unit in my opinion and one of the best ones we've gotten from Simru's cast yet. I also really think that Alhaven is going to be one of those units where he has so much potential once we get supporting roles in the future. Like imagine a Denjo Kujo Sara or like a Denjo Shen He or like supporting roles in the future that could actually aid to Alhaven's playstyle because he has such a simple and versatile one as a Denjo unit. So if you picked up Alhatham now, I think it's a really good choice, but if you didn't, picking him up later on a rerun might even be even better. Alhatham is not absolutely broken, but he's also not terrible either. He's actually above average, I'd say. If I had to give him a rating, I'd actually give him an 8 out of 10. Like, I'm very happy with him so far. I usually run him with Nahida, but honestly, I don't think you really have to. You can if you want to, and it makes it a little bit better, but you don't actually have to run him with Nahida. Now the question is, what did you guys think about him? Did you pull him? Did you skip him? Let me know in the comments, but that'll do it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will catch you guys in the next one.